I've, uh, I'm trying to get the 340 to work right. It just doesn't work good when it's hot. When it's cold or cool air, it seems to be pretty good. Working on two theories next. One is, uh, buddy asked me, Ken asked me, he says, hey, did, when you put your intake manifold on when you rebuilt this, uh, there's the heat crossovers. Did you put the blocks in there? Any blocks in there or not? And I, it was 1989. I don't remember what I did. I don't think I had a clue what that was even about. So I don't know. So part of the thing is we're going to pull the intake off and see what kind of blocks are and see if I'm getting too much heat up into my intake manifold. It's a good theory. All right, intake's off. How much do you think that intake weighs? I'll bet it weighs 30 pounds, 35 pounds. No wonder they uh, got away from cast iron at some point. Just have a teaser to put something else on it. Just wanted to lift it back in. So uh, here's my crossovers. And it looks like uh, in here I've got uh, fully open on both sides. And so uh, that may, at least that's a telltale of what. Uh, that I am getting as much heat as possible on that intake and I don't think that's a good idea and let's see what else is interesting so if you look at the cam in here man it looks pitted to me so anyway maybe it's alright but I guess it's just one more indication that I probably should go through this whole engine quit messing around and doing a piece at a time knocking dirt in it just wanted to show you what I'm doing here so we're trying to block off these crossovers or some people are saying to weld them I don't have the heads off so I'm not going to weld them I don't want to weld up some 340 heads anyway and uh, and so then they're saying use some block off material some plate that uh, that uh, will just go underneath the gasket and that shims things out and I don't like the thought of that so this is what I'm doing try it out so I've got some 50 thousandths or 48 thousandths stainless that uh, we're just going to push in push in have some little tabs it does have a little bit of an added benefit of being able to hold the gasket in place a little bit and uh, I'm probably not even going to silicone them in um, because they'll take a little bit of bite and uh, anyway it kind of helps hold that gasket a little bit in place uh, all by itself and so that's got a little bit of a virtue of it in and of itself so anyway that's what I think I'm gonna do for this uh, guy to try and block those off that should mostly block them off so they'll heat in I'm still running the, the old choke and so I need a little heat actually until I decide I don't want to use that anymore anyway that's the plan for our crossover block off so uh, about halfway to Boise and the choke still isn't pulled off even though I was trying to shorten the rod so I'll take that to mean that the crossovers are working pretty good. This is with the two barrel. So it feels like it runs a lot better with this two barrel than it used to. Anyway, uh, I'm going to have to get to work see if I can disable the choke. Thing will ever warm up. Okay, yep, halfway there, choke comes off. Oh, I'm back on. Oh, never mind. So, uh, I've been here stuck in traffic for about 25 minutes, probably. The temperature's actually staying kind of cool. All the people are getting, the natives are getting impatient to get out of here go drive on the side of the road and, uh, anyway this should be kind of an acid test for the fish so far it feels good I got 10 degrees of advance at idle and uh, maybe I'll leave this on for a minute and see uh, what this looks like I'm gonna guess this is goofed up all the way to the interstate Anyway, the fish is running, uh, I think it's soft. If it runs good after this heat treatment that they're putting on it here, then we'll know. Looks like we got an accident up there, lots of bugs, so that's going to block off everything. Okay, he's 
police officers need to understand is when they turn those lights on, it screws up everybody else.
Sin of it. Good trees. Yeah, it's a good race. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Can't be mad at that. <laughs> Do it next time. Yep. The 15 flat. She's a 1308. I had an 017 light. She had an 033. So 2.2 is about what it runs off the line, so it was around about right. Ran a 1506, ran a 1505, 1507. She ran a 13085, right on the dial. Nice run. Yeah. Hard to beat that. Red Lampin, the Baron. 